So, we've got it attached. We've sorted out the bag on the back, so we've got everything that's not in the trailer on the top. Puppy's in the car. We're safe. And we're off. About 15 minutes around the corner for the first test run, aren't we, babe? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are you okay? Mm. Puppy, are you okay? So there we go. Tallulah la first journey. Welcome back, lovely people. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video. And if you are tuning in for the very first time, then a massive welcome to the Finn fam. And thank you for choosing one of my videos. What you can hear in the background is me feeding Poodle Pip a chew to hopefully keep him quiet. See if I can get his face up. <laughs> throughout this video <laughs> because as per usual whenever I press record he wakes up but then we like him to be on camera don't we we'd like him to come up and say hello come and say hello come up here and say hello come and say hello your audience awaits darling sis he says no I want to sit down here and chew so yes the weird kind of heavy breathing and nibbling is Pip it's not some kind of new strange video I'm making. <laughs> Although, <laughs> tune into Channel 4 on Tuesday the 18th of April. And hmm. anyway, I digress. This is a completely different video this week for you. <laughs> In a change to viewing, I'm bringing you something very different this week. Because I wanted to share our recent adventures in our new trailer tent. So regular viewers, FinFam members who know our love of camping well my love of camping really which has turned into the fur fur's love of camping is that with me developing this chronic illness me cfs camping has sadly become increasingly more and more difficult and i'm really trying to make it something that i can keep doing and you might have seen that last year chris and i upgraded all of our camping gear which really did help a lot you know we got things like a camp bed a bigger tent better chairs i've thrown it on the floor darling it's there better chairs you know all the sorts of things that make it really comfortable inside the tent which worked really really well but <laughs> what that didn't help was actually getting the tent set up in the first place you know so it's all well and good having all the comforts inside the tent, but if you can't actually get the tent set up, then those comforts don't really help. What's the matter? I haven't got it, darling. It's on the floor. Okay, jump that. I haven't got anything in this hand, look. It's here. I haven't got anything, darling. It's here, look. Okay, have it here. Right, distracted with a licky mat. Thank heavens for licky mat. So, as I was saying, I love camping. I mean, I used to camp in a tiny little tent, roughing it with all of my stuff in one bag, which you've all seen my amazing packing inventory thing where I just put everything in the rucksack where we were. And as I've got more and more poorly, my camping equipment's got more and more luxurious. And that was great, you know, our camping gear last year really did help, that camp bed off the floor with an air mattress, self-inflating mattress really helped, the bigger tent, the better chairs, the fully supporting chairs, all of that gear really, 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 really helped. But, you know, that's great when you're there, but it's the getting it there, it's the getting it out of the house, it's getting it to the car, then it's the setting the tent up. And then it's the packing away and the coming home and all of that was just taking it out of me so much. And of course, asking a lot of Chris to do all of that because there's so much of that I couldn't do. You know, I couldn't get it all out from under the bed and out of the cupboards or get it downstairs or get it into the car or get it out of the car. There was only very minimal stuff I could do to put the tent up. I could only hold things while Chris put poles in you know I could only get down on my hands and knees and bang some pegs in really slowly so Chris was doing most of 
of it. So for him, it really wasn't much of a holiday. So we were looking at what we could do to upgrade. Now, ideally, it would be like a camper van or a, a caravan, but we haven't got the money for a start. And that's a lot to chill out money wise and a lot to store as well. So and a lot to tow because Chris is very nervous about towing. We also live in Devon. Very, very tiny little narrow roads where you have to stop in passing places to let cars go past you. Windy roads everywhere. Then there's the problem of kind of, you know, we've got a dog as well and all of this business. So we did lots of research of our options and we narrowed it down to looking at trailer tents and pop-up caravans because both have a smaller footprint to tow. So it's much smaller unit to tow and to store and it would just give us more room and more ability to kind of you know it would it would just work for us so beginning of this year what we did was we went to the camping and caravanning show with some models of both um pop-up caravans and trailer tents that we've been looking at second hand with an idea that if we could see them all in action we would then know what we were looking at second hand and we looked at the camplet because it just looked ideal for us in that it's a small thing to tow it's in a sealed cassette so for us looking at storage places near us we'd have to store outside we're on a waiting list for a garage so it's a sealed unit so it would um, be water resistant it's very tent like still I use the word tenty is it such a word I don't know and it's massive it's massive it pulls out like a pram hood they advertise it as being very doable with one person there's loads of storage inside the trailer tent so the idea being we could store all of our camping gear inside the trailer tent or on the roof bag on top and then when it comes to going on holiday all we need to do is pack our clothes our food and things for puppy and then we simply go and pick up our trailer tent, hitch it to the car and go on holiday. And then the actual putting up of the trailer tent, once we get the knack, is a case of Chris can actually pull out the pram hood trailer tent on his own. Then it's all dry because the beauty of this thing is it can be done in the wet. And then we can do all the other stuff like pegging it out and just making it home for the weekend at our leisure. It's not like a normal rush. When you're putting a tent up, you've got to get it secure. If it's tipping it down with rain, and we've done this a few times in the rain with a tent and it's been horrible, you've got to really rush to get it up and secure. With this, once the main pram hood of the trailer tent is up and out, then you're home and dry. Just pick out the couple of corners and you can do the rest at leisure. So we looked at the camp blitz and we were like, yeah, this is definitely the one for us. So then we've spent some time looking at second hand ones and we were lucky enough to find an amazing second-hand Camplet Royal, complete with a sun canopy and an awning, which is overkill for us. We don't need both. We wanted one with a sun canopy at least, because as though it, although, even though it's roomy, with Puppy as well, we thought if we had a sun canopy, it'd give us a bit more room for him, give us somewhere to store my mobility scooter as well. But this one, we got a really good deal. We're going to sell the awning, make some money back. Because honestly, when you see the video in a minute of how big it is just with the sun canopy, imagine the awning on as well. It's just massive and way too much for us. So yeah, we're happy. Also came with loads and loads of other gear as well. So we got such a bargain. And um, we've had two weekends away now. So um, the next bit of video you're going to see is our first weekend away in it. It took us ages because they don't come, well, we've got basic instructions, but it's one thing seeing it done in a video, it's another thing doing it yourself. And we kept stopping to look at YouTube and make sure we're doing it all right. It is fairly easy. It is really light, but there's a knack. And I think it's gonna take us a while to get a knack. But here it is, <laughs> for your pleasure, our first trip away in our new trailer tent, which we have called Tallulah La. 
and not only was our first weekend away in our trader tent, but also the first time away with puppy as well. We want to get him used to it while he's young. So here you go. Our first attempt at erecting <laughs> our Camp Lit Royale with puppy in tow. So we're putting the t ground sheet down roughly to make a nice flooring. And now the erection begins. Ta-da. I'm not allowed to show you the initial erection yet because he's a bit nervous and embarrassed about doing it, which is understandable. Okay, we're getting there. We are getting there. It's a bit fiddly because knowing which pole goes where and whatever, we've still got to tighten it all. But now we're going to attach the sun canopy to the front. How you doing, babe? Yeah. Yeah. Pip's watching. Skeleton of the sun canopy is on. And this is the bit I can't help with because I can't reach. <laughs> we are erect, but it started raining, so we've come in to do finish the last bit. You right, babe? Mm -hmm. Well, Butch. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing about this that Chris looks Butch, but not just that. But see, once this is up and over, you're dry. So this, it doesn't matter if you're pitching the rain, yeah. does it? Apart from we want to put this, excuse me, the sun canopy up and okay. we're waiting for it to get to stop raining. Finn's got his three ducks he's got for up. My three ducks? <gasps> yeah! I've got, I've got a campsite sign and I want to get a hanging plant. So it's dry enough and it's up enough to do a walk through. So come on in. So here you are, this is our Camplet Royale. It's a camp lit royal, but I have to say it like that. So we've got the sun canopy at the front. We haven't really done much with the sun canopy. We've just abandoned Molly in it. Um, just really to store Molly. Look, we have this hanging. It keeps going down the wrong way. This is a present from Finn and Shell. And we thought we'd bring it here so we could hang it. And it's got that and the back. But I think I'm going to do it differently so it actually stays the right way round. Isn't that lovely? So yeah, this is why we got the sun canopy on as well, just so we've got somewhere to store Molly. This is an awning and lots of other different poles that we're not going to need, so this will go in storage now. As you can see, we've just abandoned this outside just for now, because it's not really warm enough to have the sun canopy. It's really just for Molly right now. Hermes where you pitch it. Various different options with these doors on how to open them. We decided this was the best option for us, like this. Look at these two. So here we are. Pip, so I'm just going to close the door behind us because Pip might just decide to leap off. Hang on. Look at my gorgeous man hiding behind there. Hello. Hello. So it is a two bedroom. It's funny because they actually show it as like five births, don't they? They show three kids lying like that way <laughs> and two adults, but it's two adults and one dog because he has his own bedroom behind here. Behind our sofa. Behind our sofa. Yes, people, we have a tent uh, uh, with a sofa now. So yeah, he's only, has his own bedroom. These all do shut down. This obviously converts into a bed, so look, so this, this, it's got like a special thing you can pull up to make it into a sofa or to make a bed. This all underneath is storage, helmet for storage, our bed pod, Lammy. This here is genius. We have a wardrobe. How amazing is that? We have our own fitted wardrobe now. Yes, people. This is tenting like no other, isn't it, babe? Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. We got him a new toy and he's excited <laughs> about it. This is epic. We have a kitchen. Not just any kitchen, but electric cook-up. So we have kettle, we have a heater. We do have a toaster and everything. We haven't hooked that up at the moment. So all kitchen units, drawers. Yeah, I haven't got that far yet. So yeah, those are your drawers and everything. There's a huge amount of room in there as well. So you can see our toaster in there. But yeah, we've um, we've got this second hand. So we've got all the stuff they sold us with it. We've got loads and loads of stuff. So we've got an oven with it, which we're not using this time. 
So yes, it comes with the pull-out bowl with an electric tap, which you need to get a battery for to make this work. And then you hook up your water underneath and then you can literally just have water, which is incredible. Um, electric hookups or all, all your stuff. Oh, Pelmets have got stuff in so you can store things. Um, this is our kitchen unit already. So we've just reutilized that for extra storage. What else can I tell you? Let's shut this. Yeah, it's got loads of storage because of underneath as well. So if you come around here, I sit on the edge of the bed. Oh, you can see the view looking out. Our table look. So it's huge, absolutely huge. Even without the sun canopy, it's massive. I bought some like handy little things to hang things. So we've obviously got like S hooks because they're great for everything. But I also found these clip hooks to hang stuff on as well. Christopher, stop encouraging him to do that. We already had this table and these epic mats. Um, multi milk biscuits did not come with the tent, but I can highly recommend All them. The privacy um, we've hung up his doggy doorbells and he's actually been using his doggy doorbells, which is quite impressive, isn't it, Baba? Yeah, he's been using them. What else can I say? The all the all the windows and doors open. You can get these doors completely off, so you can have it completely open and out. We've got what's called a veranda pole that goes across here, and then you can open your windows and flop them down for when it's really warm. But as you can hear, the rain's just started, so we won't be doing that. But yeah, we were. I mean, it's March, isn't it? It's spring, but it's not that warm. What was the temperature last night? Did you notice? But it, it, I mean, Chris feels the cold more than I do anyway, but it wasn't bad. I mean, this is made of cotton, so it was warmer anyway, but I mean, I wasn't cold. I and mean, the fact is you got, because you've got like a proper mattress, just to show you this. So you've got a proper mattress and you're on slats as well. So that's what makes it warmer. Let me show you this storage thing, if I can undo it. And I can't really, but yeah, so you've got... You can see the zip under there so that you've got all the storage underneath. Let me walk you around the back of the tent so you can actually see it. Actually, I'm going to do that when it's raining because it's currently raining and I can show you what the actual train of the tent looks from behind. But yeah, epic, isn't it? Yes. Are you happy, babes? I am, yes. He's a happy Broke, boy. Look at my sofa. Oh, I know. We actually managed to cuddle on the sofa with me lying on his lap. How nice is that? With our heater on and everything. We just need to tell you now, babe, don't we? Yeah. Just there. <laughs> and here we have Tulula from the side. It's very wet, as you can see. <laughs> we have some serious weather going on. Um, but it's good. Give it a trial run in this weather, then we know at least that it's definitely waterproof. So, yeah, look, that gives you a better view this side. Um, I would walk on the grass and show you the back, but I haven't got my stick and I will probably fall over. But you can see the back where the tent is. You can see how big it is with the canopy on. It's impressive, right? It's all right. It is actually lovely weather. So we have popped out to take Pip. Pip, we're at the beach. We are at Thurston Beach. He's never, ever seen the beach before. So this is going to be fun. It is very windy. He's not over keen on the wind. So this could be fun. But he's never seen sand. He's never seen massive ocean. So this could be fun. Have you just had a bit of a bit of a bit of a like full day? We're almost home, darling. And then you can have like a sleep. Oh babe, it's just been too much, isn't it? Oh it's tired boy. It's tired boy. Is there any reason why you're upside down? Is there any reason? <laughs> Finally got bunting up now and 
lights and I'm waiting for them to come on but I don't know if they've been charged enough because we've not had enough sun looks a bit gayer now doesn't it going home tomorrow and it's just starting to look lovely but we now need to go home I don't want to go home rain's coming again we're going to camping again in a couple of weeks so that's okay isn't it babe we're going camping again in a couple of weeks yeah mother oh video. <laughs> goodly pip we're doing it's daddy's dinner time look daddy's cooking spag bog whilst daddy chris is picking up poodle pips, poopy poops. No matter how cute you say it, it's still, still shit. <laughs> it's still <laughs> shit. This one is down here, hopefully chewing on something appropriate. What are you chewing on? No. What is it? No idea. Okay. He's had a lovely day at the beach. He's been asleep for hours, and now he's woken up with a devil in him. We're just about to have dinner. We've got drink. You having wine? Or are you having a We've got Ribena. 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 Oh. Dinner's doing on this lovely. Oh. What's he doing now? It's too quick for me. What are you eating? Don't know, but it's a bit worrying, isn't it? Poodle. He's got something. He nearly had biscuits then. Did he? Oh, it's a nice bit of sit here. And cook dinner. Pip, what do you think about this trailer? Do you like it? Are you happy? Because you look quite happy. Yeah. So she doesn't mind us here in my bedroom, just chilling out. Pip, we have to go home today, aren't we, darling? Now that it looks all lovely. And the sky is blue. We did stay an extra night though, just because we wanted to pack up today when it was actually not raining to give it a chance of being dry. But it's been really lovely. And does it look, look doesn't too, the Lula La look glorious with our guard dog? <laughs> You've been a superstar, haven't you, darling? Been really good considering it's been very good and thank you to Lula La for our first exciting adventure we've got our next one booked for two weeks time for Easter weekend until next time so there you go we honestly had such a good time it was lovely being that comfortable in a tent but it's still feeling very much like a tent wasn't it and you had such a good time you were such a good boy you didn't eat too much of the tent he had a little bit of a nibble here and there but you were actually quite good weren't you yes you were good and you only woke up once in the night and he came in with us and had a little kit but we stuck to his routine and he actually adapted really really well i was exhausted and we've just been away again and i'm exhausted again but that's because it took a lot to do and I think the more we do it the easier it's going to get and I think the more Chris is going to be able to do on his own as well and the more we can just kind of do at leisure and not have to kind of faff about I think at the moment we're kind of still trying to make it our home quite a lot and just kind of faffing about making it incredibly special and like you know just all the little fine details of making it ours and that's what's taking a lot out of us but I think at the moment it's really hard to tell um, how heavy it is on the spoons because I am actually just really exhausted at the moment and have been since January because obviously the puppy all of the kind of coming off venlafaxine that's going on you know I'm still coming down off antidepressants and everything else that's going on at the moment as well so you know there's all of that that's happening that's hard to tell why are you so bitey today why are you so bitey today but it, it's just, just it, it's brilliant. It's really brilliant. I just love the thing. Really, really do love it. I'm so glad we went for it and not a pop-up caravan or anything like that because I think it just gives us loads and loads of room. 
the fact that he's got his own little bedroom in the back is absolute genius, I think, and gives him his own little kind of space where it's safe and secure. Yes, you're on camera. Look, can you see yourself? Can you see yourself? Can you? That's Pip. Yeah. But yeah, I think a couple more weekends will help. And I think obviously when you're away longer, that helps as well, because we're going away for kind of long weekends at the moment. So I don't get quite enough time to uh, relax and recuperate, but yeah, we loved it. And I think this time uh, it took us, it was much quicker to get it up. It's that action of pulling it out and we will film it once Chris gets a bit more confident doing it. I think at the moment he's just a bit nervous about looking a bit silly on camera, not getting like, the angle right. But the video I've linked in shows you the action. If you want to see more behind the scenes, I do have members videos for people who are um, friends of, of Finn members. There's more behind the scenes of camping and adventures we had and this one's mad adventures on the beach. He went absolutely crazy on the beach. He, he just loved it. It turns out that beaches are ecstasy for dogs because honestly I've never seen him that excited that video bit of him in the car where he just flakes out <laughs> I mean, it was just so super hyper <laughs> weren't you darling you slept for like the entire day afterwards you really did anyway thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed that and i look forward to sharing much more adventures in Tallulah la with you we're gonna get that put on the back of the trailer Tallulah la the camplet royal much love to you folks and thank you all so very, very much for all your love on social media around my episode of um, Naked Education. Those who have watched it already, if you haven't watched it already, it goes out next Tuesday on Channel 4. UK viewers only at the moment. I'm so sorry to everybody overseas who keeps asking me where they can watch it at the moment. There isn't any way for overseas viewers to watch it, but as soon as there is, if there is, if they make it available, I promise I will let you know. But I'm so appreciative of all, everyone who's defending me in comments, because as usual, everything gets blown out of proportion, doesn't it? But it's actually not the transgender thing that's getting blown out of proportion. It's everybody overreacting to nudity on TV in front of young people and people are, are reacting to, which is, yes, I'm not going to get into it again because it, it's just daft. It's just, it's consensual. It's boundaried, it's safe, it's contained, it's educational, it's been beautifully done. So thank you all for your lovely feedback, your support. You're just wonderful. I am now signing off, I promise. Puppy bum, you don't need to see a puppy bum. Mm. Love you all, take care, see you next week. Bye-bye.